So I'm just about to start tea and we're going to have a venison um, stew or casserole. Got a nice bit of venison that I picked up in Mark. So I'm just frying off the onions to start with and I'm actually using um, sesame oil because I just love this stuff, it tastes really nice. This is the venison and I'm just tossing it in flour because I'm going to lightly fry it before I put it into the casserole. It just helps seal in the juices and um, the pack of venison. The venison, it was quite expensive, it was £7 for this pack. Um, I'm not sure how many grams it is, I'll, I'll check. But this is the, um, the venison and you can just see the quality of it. It's such a lean meat and it's so red. It's going to be really tasty. The meat is brown, so I'm going to add in the back in the onions. Look how cute this plate is. I've had this since I was a baby and it came from my nan's house and I always just had my ice cream out of it. I'm also adding in some wine. Next I'm putting in the button mushrooms, the, the carrots, about half a bag of carrots, the potatoes. I've actually only chopped up three potatoes because the pan's already pretty full. This is um, Malden smoked salt. It's, it's really nice. The, the flakes are really soft and it's got a slightly smoky taste to it. It goes really nice as a season. I'm also putting in about a litre of stock. So I just added um, a good handful of sage and now I'm going to leave that to simmer for a couple of hours. So I'm nearly there with the um, venison. I think you can see it's reduced quite a lot but actually the liquid is still quite runny and I've got a great tip for um, thickening it up. So if you just add a spoonful of porridge oats into it, it helps to thicken the, um, let's just get my spoon. It helps, oh, you're getting a bit steamed up there. It helps to thicken it and it also, it gives it kind of a creaminess and honestly, they will just disappear. You won't even know that they're in there. You can see them now, but they'll, they just disappear and it just makes it that little bit thicker and a little bit creamier. So this is pretty much ready to go. We'll probably give it another 15, 20 minutes and then Trevor will be home and we will be enjoying this for our dinner. <laughs>